One of the biggest stories to first air on WTAP was the Silver Bridge collapse on December 15, 1967. 46 people died when the bridge that connected Point Pleasant and Gallup Police collapsed during rush hour traffic. Several presidential candidates have visited the Mid-Ohio Valley over the years, including John F. Kennedy in May 1960 and Ronald Reagan in the 1980s. And I want you to know that George Bush and I not only believe West Virginia is worth visiting and worth listening to, we believe West Virginia is worth fighting for. Parkersburg High School was the only high school in the city until Parkersburg South High School was founded in 1967. This started a rivalry between the two schools that continues to be one of the largest and most famous in West Virginia. The winters of 1977 and 1978 brought bitter winds and cold. Some gusts in 1978 were as strong as hurricane winds. Snow drifts were as high as 12 feet in some parts of Ohio. Several people died in the storm, which lasted for two days. A disaster would strike in 1978 at Willow Island in Pleasance County. On April 27, 1978, the second cooling tower under construction for the Pleasance Power Station collapsed. 51 men working on the tower were killed. The whole community was touched one way or the other. This is a small community, so mm -hmm. you're going to be related. You're going to have friends and family or whatever, so you're going to be affected some way or the other. In some lighter news, the Grand Central Mall came to the area in 1972. It is the only enclosed mall within 35 miles of the region and brought more economic development to the area. Parkersburg Homecoming started in 1983. Almost 80,000 people came to Point Park in downtown Parkersburg for the first year of the festival. Nancy Hollister became Marietta's first female mayor in 1984 and Ohio's first female lieutenant governor 11 years later. The Williamstown Bridge was imploded in a controlled demolition on February 24, 1988. <laughs> A new bridge opened in its place in 1992. The Dill Center in downtown Parkersburg closed in 1988. It's a very sad thing. Uh, Parkersburg, it's a, it's a great loss to Parkersburg. The building was bought in 2019, but ultimately closed again three years later in August 2022. The Shell Chemical explosion happened in Belpre on May 27, 1994. Fire department crews are still spraying water on the uh, site where the accident took place uh, at about 6.30 this morning. Now, one thing we want to tell you is that's just as a precautionary measure. It's to try to uh, avoid any kind of hot spots. It happened on a Friday with the Memorial Day weekend ahead. Three workers were killed. John Benet Ramsey's mother, Patsy Paul Ramsey, was thrown into the national spotlight after her daughter was murdered in 1996. Patsy was from Parkersburg and, like her daughter, was a beauty queen. In the summer of 1999, Rob Bellot filed the first ever lawsuit for damages resulting from the class of chemicals DuPont's plant in Parkersburg was producing to make Teflon. Pressure from the Environmental Protection Agency forced DuPont and other companies to phase out PFOA, and they agreed not to use it after 2015. The Mid-Ohio Valley lost one of its own during the terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001. Mary Lou Haig, a Parkersburg High School graduate, lost her life in the Twin Towers. Her mother spoke at a remembrance ceremony at Parkersburg High School on the 10th anniversary of the attack. September 11 was a day of life-altering loss that changed our society forever. We need to be thankful for our freedom because we know it is not free. Let's make each day special and not take for granted that we live in the greatest country in the world. Wirt County native Jessica Lynch was rescued as a prisoner of war during the Iraq War on April 1st, 2003. You're doing wonderful, okay? Welcome back. Just like I told you, okay? We're on a plane now and we're gonna go to Kuwait, okay? 
Hurricane Ivan in September 2004 created widespread damage in Marietta. The rain brought some areas in the region up to five inches of rain in 48 hours. The Blenner has an island bridge opened to traffic on June 13, 2008. The bridge goes over the Ohio River and was the last Corridor D project. A derecho hit the mid-Ohio Valley on June 29, 2012. The storm arrived suddenly and with little warning. Traffic lights down, trees down. What a sight. It. Yeah, it actually looked like something you'd see out of a movie. It didn't even look like this city at all. At all. Some people lost power for up to two weeks. St. Joseph's Hospital on Murdoch Avenue in Parkersburg closed in November 2014 after being in the area for over 100 years. The IEI Plastics Recycling Warehouse, which used to be the site of the old Ames plant, caught on fire in the early morning hours of October 21, 2017. Over 30 different fire departments worked for over a week to put the fire out. Gretchen Fleming, a young woman from Vienna, was last seen on Saturday, December 3rd, 2022, at the former My Way Lounge in downtown Parkersburg. A new owner took over the Pleasance Power Station in August 2023. Pleasance County Commission President Jay Powell said it was a great thing for the county and the state. It's obviously the jobs um, are going to continue and maybe even increase by 10 to 15 percent. Um, also, the coal industry. We continue to get to utilize it, and, and it'll, it'll certainly thrive um, with, this, with their new technology. And the fact that it's going to be um, green and uh, carbon emission free is a win-win.